This is going to be a quick review of biology, topic 4.4.2, which still in genetics is gel electrophoresis. This is an E over here, phoresis. Now this is a method of uh, this is a method used in DNA profiling, which I'll get into later. So what this is, well, this is a method, a method for separation, for separation, or for separation, spelt with an A, and analysis of big word here, macro uh, molecules. Macromolecules, which are molecules, you know, like in chemistry and biology, uh, just, you know, macromolecules. So, so larger molecules and their fragments and their fragments based on their size and shape. So once more, what is gel electrophoresis? Well, this is a method for separation and analysis of macromolecules and their fragments based on their size and shape. Uh, the macromolecule we're going to be looking at is DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid. You know, DNA, we're still talking about genetics. So first, how does this look like, right? This is a process, this is a physical process that we're doing. And, uh, you know, this can be set up as an experiment done in a uh, laboratory. And what, you know, the, the way it looks, what we're doing here is we've got this kind of device. And this device, basically, what it looks like is we've got a gel. Now, let's say that this entire thing is, this is covered in a gel and it is inside a, a, a larger sort of a square box and this square box over here this acts as a buffer so n nothing is touching this gel and then on one side we've got an electrode and this electrode electrode has a negative charge we've got another over here and this electrode this electrode has a positive charge. And what we're doing, this is what it looks like, you know, if we're looking at it 3D. Right? This is a sort of, like I said, a sort of box which has a gel in it with two electrodes. Now, the way you'll always see this drawn in terms of biology is just you know, pretend like you're drawing a sheet of paper with the negative charge over here and the positive charge over here. And what you're doing is you're putting samples of your macromolecules, in this case DNA, at the bottom near the negative charge. And what happens is uh, this is covered in the gel and over here you've got your DNA samples over here. In this case I've you know given or shown three DNA samples and depending on the length of these molecules, of these uh, DNA samples, they will travel a certain distance through the gel to the positive charge over time. And how, you know the reason why this is useful is that later what you'll have uh, once you put the DNA once you put the DNA over here, after a certain amount of time, uh, it will you know this isn't one. Um, very very long strand it's uh, a bunch of molecules put together so depending on their weight and their length they will travel through this gel after a period of time and you know the completed effect will be something like this and so over here you've got your sample and there's always going to be the most over here and after time it will travel now depending on how much time you, you wait and how much you know these have traveled you can decide on, you know, examine this and decide whether or not these samples are the same. 
and so of course you know larger fragments travel you know slower more slowly so over here these are going to be the the heavier or the larger fragments and um, going from negative to plus there's going to be an electrical current so you've got your electrons moving you know to to the to the positive charge 